This is grade eight, exercise 3C conflict resolution, and um, I'm going to explain the right hand. So you've got four very fast semiquavers on D. This is the D, here is middle C, so it's not the first D, it's the one above that. So they're suggesting you do finger four, three, two, one. That just helps to keep the motion going, but you don't have to do that. Then up the octave to C sharp. C, and then this time we've got six Ds. One, two, three, four, five, six, B. I'm going to play that without talking. Then the fingers here are very important in bar three. So four on the B flat, two on the G, and you have to make the second and third notes of this bar smooth. So you do short four and two, repeat it, but join it to three and one on A and F. Then you go over, keep your thumb on, and you've got four and two on G and E. I'm gonna play that again. So it's very important to make that second and third pair smooth because of the slur. Then keep four and two on G and E. So that's the same finger pattern and the same articulation where you've got a staccato, smooth, join to three and one over with two and four. Don't forget the C sharp. So bar three now. Then we jump all the way down to an octave B flat with an E in the middle, that's staccato. Then you use the same fingers, five, two, one, but you're now on G, a D flat and B flat. And then the fingers here are very important because you have to hold finger five on E, three on D flat and two on B flat. So you're holding finger five and three while your thumb plays the A and that creates actually an A major chord. So that bar four again. Then we're back to the staccato pattern, but it's an octave lower this time. on B flat and G. Then it continues down this time. So I would actually start this with five and three on D and B flat. Swap to three and two. Okay, so I'm gonna play that last bar again. Swap. Okay, from the beginning with the right timing now. slow up at the end there.